Hello, it is Direct Mail Monday. Steve Cypress here, September 10th, 2018, and I am in Sacramento, California, in an office of a client of mine. I'm way early for a meeting, and so I figured let's do something special here today on Direct Mail Monday. I'm going to go over the In Flight Magazine. Hey, Shelly, great seeing you. The In Flight Magazine from my flight on American Airlines. I I noticed, I thought, uh, and David is here, good seeing you. I thought the person sitting next to me must be laughing as I went through the magazine and was perusing and paying attention and pretty much studying and critiquing all the ads, and I was quickly thumbing through all the content. <laughs> I was like, somebody watched me must have been laughing. And Jeremy Danley is here. Uh, I was thinking that as like it came to the cover article, and it, came, it was like an eight page article as I just, you know, <laughs> something else I've been watching going, you're skipping the good parts. It's the same way I watch TV a lot of times. Like the show, I don't care about. I got to see the ads. I got to see, because I always study and help my clients how to make money. Christopher Bell's here, Lincoln's here. Let's get right to it. So uh, we're going to be going over, and Rich is here. Good seeing you. All right. Unplugged it from charging, which it needs to do, just to show you that we're going to go over this in-flight magazine as it relates to the WOW strategy. Okay, so the first W stands for the WHO, the ideal client you're looking to attract. The O is the irresistible offer so that they feel stupid to not buy from you, to not do whatever you want them to do. Get a consultation, go to your website, take the next step, whatever it is. It's irresistible. And the last W here, the green one, is the way that you use to get your irresistible offer to your target WHO. Now, the way, normally on Monday, we talk about direct mail. That's one way to do it. I'm going to show magazine advertising today. It's a different way to do it. Same principles, though. Same strategy, as you'll see. So hopefully this helps. Now, hopefully, I'm going to attempt to flip around the camera because I realize if I do this on the reverse, then the whole magazine, you can't read it because it's in the reverse. So let's see if I can flip the camera. Scott's here. Good seeing you. And we'll get right here. Look at that. It worked. Right? I think it worked. If you're seeing me, I'm going to stand up. You're seeing the American Way in-flight magazine for American Airlines for September 2018. Naturally, I got it today, but that's important to see as we go through here. So I pretty much uh, was just looking at a bunch of ads and circling some stuff and shaking my head, and then I realized, let's go through all of them. And so let's see. I, I, I don't know if I'll get to all of them. I don't even know if I critiqued all of them on the way through, but... And some of these, when I circled and underlined things, you know, it was on a flight. A little bumpy, a little shaky, and so, you know, not as clean cut. But here's an ad. It's two-page spread right on the inside cover. The Untuck It shirts that I do not understand the concept, but I know it's successful and people love it. So here's a keyword: original. Okay, this is marketing through in-flight advertising, as you're going to see, is generally geared towards affluent people, a lot of business owners fly, a lot of uh, affluent people fly, a lot of, you know, not so affluent people fly too, but who would you rather attract, the people in first class that own businesses and have lots of money to spend personally and in business, or the broke person who could barely afford the flight and lives paycheck to paycheck. So as you'll see, different ads appeal to different people, but most of the ads you're going to see are going to appeal to that target audience, that affluent shopper. And Jay Wall is here, good seeing you. So original. It's a good word to use when you're talking to the affluent. They like things that are different, unique. So original is unique. There's only one original. So I'm guessing that in the time this place has been out, they already have 40 stores, uh, there are other companies now doing these short, untucked shirts. But they are the original. So there's the key word there. And then there's their irresistible offer. Free shipping and free returns in the U.S. Go to untuckit.com. So they have the, they're looking for the, and they're, they're looking for a younger, from the, from the looks of the photo, it's a younger, more hip, cool audience. He's got a tattoo on his arm, uh, and he's unshaven, young. It's an urban city, exciting setting. He's not looking for an old white guy living out in the suburbs, right? So that's, that's the who. There's the irresistible offer. And the way they're using here, as all will here, is the magazine. Jim's here. Flip the page. This one, I see a couple of issues with it. This is the most, now that's, an, again, makes it unique. 
the most. There's only one that's the most. The most ergonomic seated elliptical for your desk to couch. Problem I'm having here is a target who? They're showing a not an affluent type of person here, a, like a, a, a younger, again, a young, hip city dweller with the exposed brick and all, but, you know, they could have shown this in a business setting, and even down here where they show it as a desk, it still looks like it's kind of a student. It's jeans and these young-looking sneakers and got a, you know, interesting little, you know, uh, um, got like an Apple Watch and an interesting ring, so this is a younger, more hipper crowd, and if we're me and I'm advertising, which I do for a lot of my clients, I help with their advertising, of course, and I'm advertising in an in-flight magazine, I want to go after the affluent market. So the photos want to show. So people that are looking say, oh, that's for me. Instead of going, oh, that's not for me. It's for a young, hip person. And yet they're talking about all this stuff that would really relate to people around my age, right? But then here they have, uh, oh, here's a couple of things they did right. They have a page on their website, slash air, because it's an in-flight magazine. So they want to know, they want to track this ad. Did you get it? Did you go to their website from the air? And here's their irresistible offer. Special $50 off in September. So it's important to have a deadline, no deadline or read as you could possibly be. So I have photos, read the comment, go down to this reverse white on blue. It's even light blue on dark blue to even find the offer, which is not that era's sale, don't do that. Okay, and they're featuring a couple of feature songs. Now here's one, this is uh, Luxury Condos in Miami. And so here, you see all the words they're using for the affluent market. Relaxed, luxury, strictly on the sand, beautiful, um, understated elegance. For those, now they're they're defining, they're telling you, are they're asking, are you, they're asking you to ask yourself, am I in there, target who? Am I the person they're looking for? They're going to tell you right here. They're going to define it. It's for those with an appreciation for great wine, great food, and great living. And again, I call it this underline that, you know, I'm on a plane. So I have to be reading this and go, oh, yeah, that's not me. I'm not an affluent person living a fine life that always has great wine and great food and great living. Not for me. But if it is... Hey, this could be for me. Boom. Now, no irresistible offer. And man, no really copy at all, which is a total waste. Life under the sun. What does that mean? Are they selling umbrellas? Like, doesn't mean anything. So they call for irresistible offers here to get you to call, get you to visit. Free something. You know, come on now. Okay, next. We've got a clothing company that says one of the top clothiers in the world, according to Marriott. And if I'm traveling and I'm in an airline... I understand Marriott, and I understand it's a lug, you know, it's an upper, it's one of the nicer hotels. It's certainly not a Motel 6, but so it's one of the top, so that's good, and but that's it. No irresistible offer, no reason why to come in, uh, you know, just not doing a great job there in the end. But again, looking for that, now that's a, like a young executive type of look. And now this one also. This one here, they're using the photos to draw you in. So these very cool photos, again, uniqueness is a, a very powerful tool to attract the affluent. They like it, unique experiences. And man, I've never seen a, this is a hotel, a resort. Look at that. I mean, this is just, that's a room. This is unique kind of stuff. So after they draw me in with unique photos, now I'll come down and I might read the copy on the bottom, which is going to talk about their resort and here they say they have claimed several awards. So that tells me it's really good, but that's it. Just has the website. No irresistible offer at all. So, oops. Could it, could it, now, does, does any of these ads work without an irresistible? They could work. They work a heck of a lot better. And I don't know about you, but, you know, I've spent a deep breath when you sign the check or sign the contract or wherever and you hope it works. I, I don't enjoy hoping it works as much as I enjoy having a really, really strong opinion that I know it'll work. So why not put in an irresistible offer? Use the wow strategy. So this one has an interesting headline. Are you single, successful, selective? Again, successful and selective are terms for affluent people. And single is, is identifying the target market because it's a matchmaking company. So if you're married, don't read this ad. And you're too busy. That's overcoming an objection that people who are selective and flying on airplanes all over the world say, hey, I'm too busy to meet people. I'm always working.
accountant and I work 10 hours a day and I fly all over the world. Help me meet someone. So here you see her name is Kelleher and the name of the company is Kelleher. So when your name of your company is your name, you're the brand. And it's smart to have that photo so people see, oh, that's you. Then look, she uses the plus one in the phone number. So, so it gives it that international flavor. Oh, we're international for that one. No irresistible offer. Mistake. Next one, furniture. This is nationwide white glove delivery. White glove delivery. Again, I don't have to tell you, that's a term to attract the affluent. As, you know, brings out feelings of a butler with white gloves. And then their, their irresistible offer, which is extremely resistible, is a free design consultation. And I just had to laugh at that. Like, that's it? Free design consult? Not a free something? Not a discount? Not a nothing? Just Come on, you can do a lot better than that. Uh, oh, another thing that makes it unique, it's the world's largest furniture store. That's unique. There's only one that's the largest. The affluent like unique. Uh, here is a Japanese jewelry, I assume, because it's got a big piece of jewelry in it, and it says Hawaii, or Hawaiian, I mean, Hawaii's finest jewelers. So that's cool. This says original, another unique term. There can only be one original. It's incomparable, and they got all these locations, and then they got these awards on the bottom. Very cool. Again, telling me this is great stuff, and if I'm Mr. Think I'm somebody special, and my wife is someone special, I should check that out. Now, here's a custom shirt ad. Again, they're showing the the executives, 30s, 40s executive. And it's custom shirts, and the thing I like about this is they make it real simple. Another key to attracting the affluent. Make it simple. Convenience is a big selling point to the affluent. So they have three steps. Number one, create your custom size. You answer 10 simple questions on the website. Number two, you shop from hundreds of styles and conven they even use the word conveniently order online. And number three, shirts are made to order and shipped to your door. Perfect fit guaranteed. So you have guarantee is good uh, to make that offer more irresistible. I mean, all I got to do is answer 10 questions, shop from hundreds of styles. So I got all this convenience selection, and then they just ship it right to my door. I can do that right now on my phone while I'm on the plane. And then here's their offer is visit the website, use this code, PCAW. And I can do the translation. It's proper cloth, American Way. It's in the American Way magazine. So they're tracking the ad. You want to track all your ads. Now they'll know how many people put in that code. I give them $20 off. Custom shirt, I don't know, 100, 150 bucks. So $20 off is decent, but it's really there for tracking purposes. So I know whether the ad in the American Way is working or not. I'll go a little quicker here. This one is terrible, terrible, and they got four pages. This is their magazine. This is American Airlines. They got a four-page heavy stock spread, and you'd think they'd have a clue what to do with it. But it makes sense that the rest of these people are paying big money for the ad, so they hire someone like me that knows how to make money with it in America, and since they're not paying, it's their airline, I guess. They have some schlunko doing this ad because it sucks. Limited time offer. You saw the rest of these, and you'll see some others that say, you know, it's only good for September. It's a September magazine. Of all people that know, this is a September magazine. You would think American itself could say a date in here, knowing this is going the American issue. So don't be lazy like that in a limited time. Tell people, this is the limited time. Here's the deadline. Oh, Danielle is here. Great seeing you. And Ed is here, and George is here. So here they have bonus miles, earn bonus miles. Not sure, you know, what that means yet, but it's a four-page ad. And so now on the next page, oh, I see. Here's all these bonus, extra bag check, 10% of this, 25% of in-flight offer. When I was on the plane was to, first-time applicant, earn additional 500 miles when applying in flight. So this is buried at the bottom of page two on the ad. I think that's why I put oops. Like, why didn't you tell me that right up front? There's an exclusive in-flight offer now that you're on the flight. Like, I wonder how few people on the flight even saw that. It's tucked in there on the bottom corner that there was a special offer. Now I get off the plane, likely people don't even take the magazine and I missed it. So this tells you a little bit more about it. And on the back, there, now it's a little more prominent. It's halfway down the page, the exclusive in-flight offer, so maybe I'll see it there. And then all the weasel clause, legal mumbo jumbo, that really doesn't have to be there. But again, since a bozo was making up the ad, he probably thought, I don't know how, I don't, I don't know what to put on four pages. They want me to do four pages. I don't know what to put. I know I'll fill up like 40% of the last page with garbage that nobody reads and no one cares about. Terrible ad. Next, 
Uh, I did not know that J.P. Chenet, or however you pronounce this, is the number one in the world wine brand. But if it is, how cool is that? Because again, the affluent like that stuff. I don't drink wine, so I don't know anything about it. And drink responsibly. Like, I know that sounds nice to put in there, but like, give me a break. Where's some reason other than number one? Give me some discount or some free, one free extra something, or some reason to, to call an order that makes it impossible for me to say no. This is very possible for me to say no to. Oh, I didn't know they were number one. They're great. Next time I see it or hear about it, maybe I'll buy one. But I'm not buying right now. And the old plus one in the number again makes it sound international, very smart. Got some content, who cares? This one is ouch. Terrible ad. This is by someone who really doesn't know what they're doing. They probably have a marketing degree from a from a top school, so they just do this image advertising. I'll put a nice picture of the woman wearing this watch, and then there's the watch and the name of the company and their website. That's it. Like, no copy? I'm sure there's plenty of room here for words if the person placing this had any clue how to sell. And that was the goal of the ad. But instead, the goal of the ad is for the person to keep their job and tell you that they learned it in marketing school. But that ad will not make a dime. Okay, next. Uh, oh, that's an ad. This is an article, but I, I did read it because it's about baseball, and I love baseball. And this is interesting. It's a pencil-making company that makes pencils just for scoring baseball. And I was like, what? And then they, I've, I've scored plenty of baseball games. In fact, I was the manager of my high school team and kept all the scores. By the way, a hint, that's a way to not play so much. The coach didn't want to put me in so much, I'm sure, because then he'd lose the scorekeeper. But anyway, uh, but of course, if you're not good enough, become a scorekeeper and a broadcaster. That's what I did. But baseball fans are very much analog people. I was like, hey, that's me. I love baseball, and I'm an offline guy. In fact, here we are on Direct Mail Monday. Direct mail is analog. It's not digital as opposed to digital being online. So if your customers, you find out that they like baseball, you can guess that they're pretty much also like direct mail. They like phone calls. They are not as into email and technology and all that crap. That's why they're baseball fans. Okay, next ad. Rio de Janeiro is easier, faster, closer. Easier, faster, those are Words that attract the affluent. They like that convenience, something that's easier, faster, closer, more convenient. And then look at this one. You get your Brazilian electronic visa within five days. That's convenient. That overcomes the objection of, oh, yeah, let's go. Hey, five days. Boom. Done. And then down here, this is crazy. To find out more, go to evisavisitbrazil.com. Look, no tracking. Doesn't say slash American, whether they have no idea. If this is ads intended for magazines, they have no idea which ads work. They have Dr. Pepper. There's a well known brand, so they can do this. Just put the soda right in the ad. And then here's their irresistible offer you send a text message for a chance to win a trip for two to the SEC football championship. Now, that's one way you can do it. If you don't, they're building their list. They're building a text message list that they can market to with text messages. And instead of saying, I'll pay you a buck, I'll give you a dollar off, 50 cents off for every name I get. They say, I just have have one $10,000 or $5,000 trip, whatever it costs, for however many people come in. And they might attract 100,000 fans to come in. So that's one way to run a contest to build your list without having to pay per name. You just do the math. You guess how, you, you estimate how many names you think you'll get and therefore how much how big a prize you can afford. And it has to be something that people will do this for, that they think texting this, a chance to win this is a valuable thing. And they put the, the goalposts in there, and it is the start of football season. So there's footballs on the thing, football thing, win a trip to there. They are going after football people, where the page before was baseball. Okay, next. Might not get through the whole thing here. Um, this one is strange to me. The headline says, we promise to celebrate our anniversary in flippers. Now, if you had a, uh, had a contest for the worst headline of all time, that would definitely be in the contest. Uh, hey, Ed's here. Nice suite. Yeah, not my suite. It's a client. Um, and so uh, we promised to celebrate our anniversary in flippers. Uh, what? So what is that all of? Who cares? I mean, what a waste. All this space at the top of the ad, and they waste it with a stupid thing, and then a picture. Okay, it's a couple in flippers. Oh, no wonder. It's the stupid same people that put in the advantage ad that I showed earlier. No wonder. It's just the dumbest ad in the whole thing, unless... It's the previous American Advantage ad, which was also stupid. And so now use the card that gets you miles closer to your promise. What the hell does that mean? Anyone can tell me? It gets you miles closer to your promise. 
Oh, I see, because they promise to celebrate and flippers get, stupid, terrible ad, get you miles closer to your promise. I don't even know what that means. Ooh, meaningless slogan, what the hell does that mean? Start something priceless, stupid. But at least they are tracking it. Priceless.com slash aviator. So at least they're tracking it, however, total fail. Stupid ad. All right, next. Uh, oh, I didn't even look at this one, and this is looks like a really good ad. Lots of copy here. Who knows? I must have, just like I just did, kind of two pages stuck together and went over it. But here, don't act before it's too late. And here's some kind of offer. Use a code at the checkout, and it expires the end of September. Very smart. That's a good deadline. Uh, so they got an, a special offer, a deadline. A lot of copy to explain why I should take advantage of this thing. Oh, it's a it's a hat that prevents hair loss? That's interesting. Obviously, I never wore that my whole life. Uh, another one. Uh, interesting one here. Work meets workout. So this is an ad geared towards a business owner, okay? To turn your ho-hum afternoon meetings into energizing work sessions. So a business owner wants his employees to be energized instead of bored. It wants to spark creativity and collaboration. It wants to turn monotony into an active environment. It wants to invigorate, inspire. This is talking to the business owner saying, how do I motivate my ridiculous millennials here that feel entitled, think socialism is good and all that crap? How do I, you know, I'm clearly not that person. I'm the 40, 50 something, the way the world really works. So how do I get all these people collaborating, invigorating, inspired? Well, we have, I love this one, I put LOL, the, the old Flexi Spot V9. Really? Was there a V8? Was there a V10? Like the V9. Ooh, the V9. Sounds cool. And so you go to flexispot.com slash AAA, American Airlines, I'm guessing, bike. So they're tracking the top half of their ad. Now they have flexispot.com, and this is smart, two different colors, makes it easier to tell. It's not Flexis Pot, it's Flexi Spot. So that's smart. And then elevate your workspace on these elevated desks. I think there's three of these ads in here for different companies doing that. And here again, they want people to be, your workers to be more alert, more creative, more Hey, hey, we're back. How dumb was that? Part two. Battery ran out on the phone because uh, I had unplugged it just to show you the word wow that I had written on the whiteboard. Magazine. I forgot to plug it back in. So it went dead, but we are back. But here we go. We are on the Flexi Spot ad. I like the separating the words. Ed is back. Good seeing you. And uh, so you see, they're tracking the ad. You see, they do it again here on the bottom. Flexi Spot, where they tell you clearly it's two different words Flexi and Spot. Otherwise, most of these, where you see, they stupidly put their website in either all caps or all small letters and all Flexi Spot. So very smart. Two different colors, backing. The, the capital letter, the small letter, and then you can see they're, they're tracking here. I like this. They're tracking here. They have a website called FlexiSpot that capitalized the F and the S. For some, the AA bike, and down here for the desk, they have slash AA desk. So they're tracking even the two separate parts of the ad and seeing which one people respond to. Smart track. Some content. Who cares about the content? We're looking to make money. All right. Uh, don't understand this one. I don't know what you think when you see that, but all I can think is, you know, do they have free shipping? Like the magic of the greatest new year of Amazon. And then they say the Amazon capital, who knew? The Amazon capital invites you. Yeah, but they don't. So you don't say you invite someone if you don't have even a resistible offer. They don't really invite me. How about give me a free something? Wouldn't there be a free... Fruit basket in my room, a free bottle of champagne, a free upgrade to a better room, a free trip to down to the museum, a free thing on the river. Do you, are you really inviting me? Because when I invite someone over, what do you do when you, you want something to eat? You offer them something like, I invited you. Or if I invite you out to dinner, I'm paying. Like, they're not really inviting me. And then, so the whole act, just total fail. There's no offer, not even a crappy one. There's no reason why, oh, oh, because you can welcome to... 2019 together and with joyful warm people nothing that's uh, that's targeting the affluent no words of of anything that's unique or anything and oh it's stunning oh here what's the reason to go there that's a long way to go for new year's and they're not giving me they have a lot of explaining to me 
why I would want to go there and especially make me an irresistible offer so I can't say no and I go, honey, we just have to go to Brazil for New Year's because it's too good to pass up. Otherwise, this is a dating thing and this is very smart. The entire ad is an interview. It's a case study with this couple. So here's about the couple and about Christina and then they ask Rick a question, they ask Kay a question, K R. So they're Q&A with this couple, so the entire story, case study. It's one of the easiest of any happy customer, client, patient member you have. Put them in an ad, there you go, put some facts on the side so it makes it look, because dating, matchmaking, it sounds like, you know, I look at my crystal ball and I, dating services love to put in statistics. Makes you think it's a science. Makes you think they really know what they're doing. And then here they're the number one bottom. Why did they do that? I just saw it. I didn't even see it the whole time yet. Why don't you put that on the top? Anyway, that's what I like about that ad. Oh, no. Another failed ad for the A Advantage. This tells me that when they don't sell advertising, they have a blank space. They go back to that incompetent business marketing degree graduate with a graduate degree from a top business school who doesn't know anything about making money with ads. And they put in another page. And look at the mistake here. Can you see what it is? Yeah, I guess you can. You don't want to do this, okay? The ad, the copy on the ad is running into the the crease, so I can't really read it unless I press it down. So why'd you do that? Why decide so I could see them without having to go? Oh, what's that? That's a fail. Don't do that. Now you know I people might know I spent three and a half years or three years and something at a yellow pages uh, comp publisher as a you never knew when you placed a yellow page ad or any other than advantage. You know, going to show up on the left or on the right. So this would would have worked better if it showed up on the right. Then this would have been cut would not have been cut off. But lo and behold it shows up on the left. So failure, oops, you don't know how to make an ad. You make an ad that if it shows up on a on a right hand page, I guess you're okay. If it shows on the left, you're screwed. All the reasons why somebody would want your thing, I have to ooh uh, and then of course you had to put in since you don't know what to put into an ad to make money, you put in all the unmaking stuff which they could go to a website and find it. They can read the back of your contract. They can scroll down through your terms and conditions. It's not making anyone buy, is it? It's all mumbledy bumbledy legal mumbo jumbo crap. This one's interesting. Again, they're using the photos of a unique looking apartment or hotel, whatever it is, to draw you in right away. Luxury, sophistication, pampering. Boom, boom, boom. That's talking to the affluent, who are likely the people flying on planes that have money. More is always better. I love that one. An appeal to Gordon Gecko would love that one, right? Are you greedy? Then you want this. And get the guaranteed lowest rates. Now, I could have done better than that with an irresistible offer. And for, I guess it's Fortune House. They could have capitalized these letters. I would have read it in one second. Fortune House Hotel. And then I'd gone, oh, yeah, it says Fortune. Ooh -ha. So a few mistakes there. Cover story. Let's get through this one as quick as we can. This is where I was laughing. If anyone watching me go, hey, you finally got up the content and you're just flipping through it, dude. Up, oh. Avis, drive for miles. I was like, what's that all about? And then I saw, you can earn more for your drive. Again, AA Advantage, but at least they did something right here. You get 500 miles for every time you rent an Avis car. Interesting. And here's an offer. Save up the tracking number. AWD, American Way Drive. That is so. Oh, and then go to avis.com slash tracking this ad, and they're giving you an irresistible offer. And then, since it's that same person, probably with the American ads, they put in all the, the BS that doesn't sell. Why? Because, well, I know why. Because they got an advertising, a marketing degree from a school, and they don't know what the hell. The interesting photo. Look at this thing. He stares. Very interesting. Draws me into the copy on the bottom. I mean, it's a handwritten font to make it look like that's a good, that's a, you know, it's something the guy said, this, can't read, Rohan something, uh, said something, so it looks as surreal, the geometry of the place, the crib, Cross, the criss, oh, crisscrossing, come on. I'm done already, I can't read the thing, what are you doing? And then you have this really terrible website, go to tourism. Something.gov.in. What are you crazy? Something dot something dot something that's just put it in wrong. Terrible, total fail. Too bad. It started out good with a captivating photo, and then you draw me into your crap.
two. Okay, more content. Who cares? These things, are, you know, these never throw me. These doctors pay to be. Then they can say, as seen in certain magazines, and they put their name on here, and one pays a lot more. They say, I'm going to use this guy because he's listed in an airline ad as the best. Give me a break. All these doctors paying all this money. You know what these are good for? These are good for printing it out all over your office in the waiting rooms. People come in and go, man, he's one of the best orthopedic surgeons in America. I know he is because he's got one of those little, oh, I'm calling. Next, most trusted hair restoration. I'm guessing, obviously, if you've ever seen me, uh, you know that I've never done it. Or if I had, it didn't work. So most trusted must be an issue in this industry. So they're saying trust, because I guess guys come in and go, hey, I tried this, I tried that, it didn't work, it didn't work, but we're the most trusted. And then they have uh, you know, four selling points, no visible scar, that minimally invasive, they're overcoming the objections, fast recovery, and there's the before of the after. So they're overcoming objections right there, I like it. And then contact one of these sessions and you will get the irresistible consultation. Oh. However, they do well with the website, capitalizing the letters so I can understand it's neografddoctors.com. All right, let's just do a few more. I don't know if we'll do all of these. Uh, overseas manufacturing, again, obviously an ad to business owners flying on airplanes. Overseas manufacturing isn't as scary as you think. That must be overcoming the objection of like, oh, overseas manufacturing, complex, especially with Trump in office with this whole buy American, hire American, anti the world, you know, we're number one, you know, U.S. comes what, you we're uh, America first? Yeah, all that crap, uh, which is ridiculous when, of course, and everyone knows, hypocritically, uh, as if that's a newsflash, Donald Trump's own stuff with the Trump brand is still made overseas. So what a schmo. He walks around saying, you know, oh, Apple now. You better make your stuff in the U.S. or else we're going to charge tariffs. I mean, just a ridiculous policy. But anyway, that sounds scary. But here they are to tell you, we better place an ad. Everyone's getting scared about doing business overseas. Trump is, is putting tariffs and destroying businesses and being an idiot. So here they say right away, we're an American. So now I have some trust here. It's an American company going to help me through the uncharted manufacturing. And look what they will do. They handle everything. We find the right factory, negotiate prices, oversee the tooling, the factory production, the quality inspections, financing, insurance, shipping. I had to make all these different phone calls. No wonder it's scary. No wonder I, same reason people hire me and become my client because marketing and advertising and selling for your business is, can be really complex. A lot of pro, pay these guys the money and let them tell you we will nav. And so you can see how they can then at the bottom, they're telling you they will reduce your manufacturing costs. Of course, you're making it overseas and they're tracking the ad. It's their company slash AA. American Airlines, and then they do the old, I love this one, as seen in Forbes and Entrepreneur. The ad was seen in it, most likely. Did they? Did Forbes and Entrepreneur write articles on the company? That'd be cool, but a lot of times, people will just use the as seen on, even if they placed an ad, which is a little trick you can do, by the way. You can place an ad in magazines, and then I guess you could tell people, I was as seen in your trade magazine in your industry or something, but you know, one should actually do something. All right, next. This is the most important, this, I don't understand. This is the most important new art museum in North America. And then a picture of it. That's it. That's it. Not even 50% off admission when you mention this ad. Not even we give you a free something because you're coming all the way from the U.S. to Mexico just for this. That's it. A lunch, nothing. Just come here and go to the, to, it's, I, you know, whatever, Mexico. Great. So again, they hired someone with a marketing degree, doesn't know what they're doing. West Philly, near and dear to my heart, because back in my door-to-door -door sales days, I spoke door-to-door sales right on this street right here, Baltimore Ave in Southwest Philly. Love it. I walked down that street with my $5 teddy bears, and this guy said, get out. This guy said, get a real job. This guy said, I'm calling the cops. This guy said, do you have a license? This guy said, no. This guy said, you're wasting my time. And then this guy bought two. And then it went on like that all day long, and I cleared out the car. And so I have an affinity for West. Scent Bird. This is a re this is the first ad I actually stopped on because I, I saw the West Philly thing. And then I stopped on this and I said, look at all the smart things they're doing. This magazine or a, a magazine like it, an, an in-flight magazine. Because right away they tell you, travel like a pro. Pack smart wherever you go. Leave the clunky fragrance bottles behind this flight. Just packed. 
recently, this morning, I packed. So they, well, I didn't pack anything. I just, there, I packed, packed my bag. So, because um, I'm, I'm an hour and a half out of this business meeting. So I just flew in and flew out. But otherwise, I would pack for the day. And so they're talking right to me with the mindset of, I pack all the time and I travel. So throw it in your carry-on luggage and go. So I love it. They're talking right to the, the people on the go. That's who it's for. That's me. It's everyone reading the magazine. I think you know, travel a lot. Maybe the family who once a year goes somewhere for Thanksgiving, you know, not as much. They're not, they don't see themselves as on the go and they're not looking to be smart when they pack and all that. But business travelers certainly are. And then go to scentbird.com slash airline. That's tracking but not really right if they're in 10 different airline or 20 different airline magazines they don't really know which ad is the one that got the results so i i would have gone a little more but here's the irresistible offer get a free month a free month that just sounds irresistible yeah see here it is we send you a 30-day supply boom choose a new fragrance every month just sounds cool exactly how to get it they're tracking the ad a little bit at least and they're speaking right to their target that's a well done ad uh, this one I was okay because it's in the section that's all about West Philly. So you see the advertising salespeople for the magazine said, let's call up lots of the towns and the tourist attractions and companies in West Philly and let's see if they'll place an ad in the section. So they don't say much because if you're reading this West Philly, what they're using is the content, the eight pages and photos and all the restaurants and everything. If this content tells you how great West Philly is. Then they can just say, yeah, so you should come because we have all these restaurants, all these meeting venues, again, it's for business owners, all the art attractions, history, hotels, shopping, best shopping in the U.S. This is for people that say, oh, Trump lies about everything. Trump lies, lies, lies. It's called marketing, folks. In fact, the legal terms, quantified term, it's the best shopping. Of course not, but you're able to say things like that. So Trump being a mayor is always selling, so he always says this is the best and know the most, and it's the best economy, and the stock market is going to tank. Oh, and if the if the Democrats get take over the House, they're going to raise your taxes. How are they going to do that, Trump? How are they going to raise your taxes? Are you going to sign the bill that they put on your desk? Like, no. So they're not going to raise your taxes. But you know, anyway. Uh, so he's always using puffery. That's what that is. Puffery. It's the best. Says who? But you're not going to get sued in court because the judge will just go, "Can you prove they're not the best? You can't prove they are. They aren't." Anyway. So they got all kinds of things to do. All you got to do is go to it. Pretty good because they're now without, without the content though, without the eight pages all about how great Philly is. Uh, no, but see, they're pointing out me. Now let's show you this. Otherwise, bad ad. Hey, next, Jack Daniels. Flag and it's talking about bringing the troops home, right? the troops with their families and you text JD home to that number. So they're building a list that they can then market to talking about vets, so that'll attract that target market. Whoever did the, got this magazine before me, did this crosser puzzle and made a mess of it. Oh, and then they did these uh, Sudoku. So, all right, next, Grand Canyon. Um, call now for choice dates. That's their offer. Call now for choice dates, not call now for some amount off. I mean, here's all the prices. 1200 1400 1800 They couldn't say call now for $200 off. So give me a break. That was not a great offer, is it? Uh, love is the love is the only thing worth every another dating company. And what did I like here? Oh, I did. So that's with two other dating uh, elite dating services in here. This ad is not going to work too well, if you ask me. All right, next uh, another ad geared to the target market. The target who? This is very smart. Thirty thousand feet. There's no place to start worrying about bad breath. There you are. You're up in the air. Thirty thousand feet. So they're talking right to you. And but however. Save a dollar. My flight costs seven hundred fifty bucks. You have, you know, last minute flight for business. It's expensive. I was family traveling. We booked it a month ago and be you know two hundred bucks each way or a hundred each way or whatever. But you know, save a buck in the seat reading this. And then here's a major fail. They know that their thing is capital T capital B Therabreath 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 Therabreath. So by their way, when they printed their website. Com. LOL. You see, it's Therabreath. You idiot. It's capital T, capital B. You did it like 10 times. No one knows what you're talking about. The Rabreath.com. What a terrible ad. Again, clearly, 
from a someone with a marketing advertising degree. Two page spread, full color, woman with a baby, not the ideal target market, by the way, of someone uh, uh, who's flying in first class on this plane, a young single, a young mom, not single necessarily, but a young mom. Uh, they don't show her as married. Married couple, if you want to go after, you know, tattoos, you know, hip, young person, and the, the whole ad just says to each her own. That's it? Third love? To each her own? I don't, yikes. I don't know anything about what the heck you're talking about or who you're talking to or what's the offer. Don't I get a free percent off if I buy the, I assume it's a bra. Oh, yeah, bras and underwear. So, not to mention, like, it's an ad for a bra. I just realized the kid does not like the bra. He's saying, Mom, what are you doing? You're blocking my, my, my track. Get rid of the bra. So it's actually an ad selling you on not getting a bra. Then make the kid happy. All right, next. This is a bunch of, you know, space about some companies. Uh, you know, this one is smart. They're to, to the affluent. That's a number one. That's unique, and they support schools through the STEM program funding. Okay, so that goes to the, you know, socially conscious. I'll support the schools. Omaha Steaks. It's the finest quality, but then find deals on the website now. Slash way for the American way. Uh, Oh, yeah, I know I put that. Uh, find deals. How about tell me what the deals are? Finest quality is good, though, but otherwise this fails. And you know why it especially fails compared to this ad right here? What do you know? It's Omaha Steaks with a picture of succulents, 100% guaranteed premium quality, which is great. It's this much separately, and it's this much in a combo. And you get a free something else. So this, go to the website to find deals. Or just look at the other side of the page to a good ad. So here's a bad, good, same company. Couldn't they have done some of this and then order now and save 76%? That sounds awesome. And here they have done it the right way. It's both capitalized slash way. Here, they decided, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'll put it in all my hostakes. I'll just put it all small letters so you can't really read it that well. So done properly, done poorly, right there on facing pages. Amazing. Oh, Katarina, speak the ordinary. That's great for the affluent. They like that. Experiences, they like that. Uh, now, reference the code FLY2018, so they're tracking the ad there, and receive a $30 resort credit, and they have it, but this deadline's terrible. The end of the year. This magazine is out of circulation. When it hits October 1st, they put a new issue in, like, your stay by that. It should be book it by the end of September, because you might be reading this on the last day of September. And you can stay up until any time in 2019. Something like that. I don't have to book it for three months. I will forget this completely. It's out of sight, out of mind, fail. Classic comfort with a southern accent. It's boutique. It's award-winning. It's unforgettable. Convenience. All good terms to attract the affluent. Hidden gems. Savvy people. This is the world's finest that attracts affluent people. And then, but this is nonsense. It's very lazy. For exclusive pricing, enter a coupon code, which is AA218. But what do you mean exclusive pricing? Like, tell me. Uh, but then I like. Oh, really? Meeting. So we got to go. So there's more stuff in here. The rest of some other time. That'll do it for Direct Mail Monday. My client just tapped on the door and said, let's go. So hope you enjoyed Direct Mail Monday. In Flight Magazine Monday, and I'll be back tomorrow on Topical Tuesday. Gotta go. Bye-bye. Thanks for being